angels. I am busy baking my ass off tonight. I have already baked these snowballs. These are gonna be um, Rice Krispie Treat Christmas trees. I made some chocolate pumpkins. I made some, well, they're missing. They're missing because my family is missing. But those are to make the best butter cookies you have ever tried, I promise you, and it's so easy to make. So come with me, and I'll show you how to do it. The best and easiest butter cookie recipe for the holidays, for birthdays, for just a day when you're fucking want to have a butter cookie with some coffee. This is the day that you're gonna learn how to make the easiest and best butter cookie recipe. So, it is a butter recipe, butter cookie, so you need hella butter. You need two sticks plus two tablespoons. So you have one stick of butter here, and the other stick of butter that I have is still a little hard, so the trick that I use is 11 seconds in the microwave and you have the butter not melted but soft enough to use for baking. All right, so after you have your two sticks of butter plus two tablespoons, you need to beat this until nice and creamy. I mean creamy, like you just churned it yourself until it's super, super creamy. So we're gonna start off low, get everything incorporated, and then we're gonna whip it on medium until it's super, super, duper, duper creamy. This texture of this butter is really important. It's what makes the butter cookies very soft and um, spongy in the middle. So here's low. Boom, bust it to medium. And whip that up. Whip it, baby. Whip it, and whip it good. Keep whipping, keep whipping. Whip it, scrape the edges, and keep going. So the next ingredient is a half a cup of powdered sugar into your butter mixture. And then we're going to use one teaspoon of good vanilla extract. Mine is good, I got it at um, maybe Home Goods. And it was like $3.99 and it's delicious vanilla. So let's pour that in there. A little extra vanilla never hurt nobody. You know, I knew this girl that she had a bad drinking problem and she would go to the grocery store and steal vanilla extract and drink those until she got drunk. Can you believe that? True story. All right, let's mix this all together. Start off low. Just like that. And then we'll scrape the sides and continue mixing until this is almost a white color. See how now it has a tint of yellow in it? You want to mix it until it's a white, creamy color. Alright, you guys see what I mean when I say white in color? I mix this for about five minutes, five, six minutes. But you see now that it's it's white, it's not like the butter color was before, and that's the color you need for these um, for these cookies. It's super important. The recipe that I'm going this from, um, there is a very important note that you make sure that this part was white and clean. So, next step is we're going to add some flour, and that's two cups of all purpose flour into this butter mixture. Alright, so we're going to add our two cups of flour, one cup at a time, and this is the part where it starts to get a little bit time consuming. Because you add the flour and you almost want to fold it into the butter mixture so you're not completely decimating that flat, that butter that we just creamed. So just like that, you want to slowly kind of incorporate it, smash the butter down a little bit as you go. Kind of use a folding motion, get all that scraped up from the bottom, just like that keep turning until you get all that flour incorporated into this butter mixture. Then we'll add the other cup and we'll continue to do the same thing. Alright guys, so here is your butter cookie batter. Look at that. It's a 
a little thick in consistency. So can you watch when I move the spatula down? How it almost looks like a frosting, a thick frosting. So now we have to put it in a pastry bag. Sometimes I don't have help in the kitchen when I'm baking. So what I learned to do to fill a pastry bag is I um, grab a mason jar, I stick my pastry bag inside the mason jar, and then I fold over like that. And so here we have a place where we can stuff our batter in so that it is easy. No one has to hold the pastry bag down. Just use that mason jar and you just shove it in there. And that's my tip of the day. Alright guys, so I've got it in my pastry bag and I've got my star tip on there. So what I'm doing is I'm just gently pressing and lifting the cookie. Just like that. So there's your they're little, and they're supposed to be because they're super rich. So again, testing. Just like that. We'll continue stamping them out, and then I'll show you right before I put them in the oven. So it's so easy. All the ingredients were so easy. You'll have fun doing this. Just keep it moving. Yes, they're gonna be delicious. I can't wait for you to try them. All right, so we're down to our last few here. Like that, squeeze down, put that extra batter down in there. Squeeze down, press down and then sort of lift up. You can make them as big or small as you'd like. I'm just kind of doing some big, some small. Um, and then we're gonna bake them in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. And I will put a little sprinkling on top and make them nice and festive. And those are your butter cookies, folks. All right, guys, so one of the batches is out. And there goes are sprinkling them with these little Christmas trees, just like that. You can kind of press them into the cookie, and they are perfect and delicious, and just enough to not make you feel like you cheated on a diet or that you don't deserve a treat. These will be excellent. Here comes another batch. So we'll get some more of those trees little designs and sort of put them on top, put them on top, put them on top, and now we're going to let them rest, and then I'll put them on a cooling rack, and then they'll be ready to go. Let them cool for about 15, 20 minutes um, on here, and then transfer them to a cooling rack, and let them sit for about another 15, 20 minutes, and you will have the most delicious butter cookies Maybe he's gonna try one. Alright guys, here's the butter cookie. And now it's gonna go in Hubby's mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That is pure butter goodness. <laughs> oh my god. That is so like rich, Ooh, buttery. Damn. How much more? More. Mm. Not dipped in chocolate, but for not dipped in chocolate. No, that's oh damn, that's buttery. That's good. Good, good job. Mm -hmm. Awesome job. That's really excellent. All right, guys, quickly. Here's a bonus recipe for you. So I have. I'm gonna make quick peanut butter cookies. It's one cup of peanut butter, one cup of sugar, and one egg. And I'm scooping out peanut butter because I need it for baking. So spray a little bit of pan. Your peanut butter and then it comes out with the breeze. So here it is right here guys. Stir that together. Scoop out your little cookies 
Bake at 350 degrees for 10 minutes and you have easy peanut butter cookies. Alright guys, just real quick. So we stuck some Hershey Kisses in the peanut butter cookies that I just gave you. One cup peanut butter, one cup sugar, and one egg. And we put some Hershey Kisses in there and now they're peanut butter thumbprints. Alright, hope you loved cooking with me. I loved cooking with you. We'll see you next time. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.